And this is Dor. I'm here in the Dead Sea. The Jordan River is here next to me where Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist. And I want to talk to you today about some distinctions that, you know, Jesus might have had when he, when he walked around in these areas. Uh, probably if he was crossing here in the, in the Jordan River, he was probably getting to some oasis places like this. You can look around. This is just can get you to stir your mind a bit about the the area that he walked in and what I'm asking myself like what what distinctions did did Jesus carried in his in his five bodies in his emotional body and in his intellectual body in his physical body in his energetic body and it's in his archetypal body what uh, what was going on there and, and and of course I'm not an expert and I'm I'm kind of like improvising this video here but I still want to discuss with you what what are the distinctions that coming into my mind when I'm thinking about someone that came through all the boxes of people around him so back in the day there was this kind of a modern culture the modern culture that was here in this land in the land of Israel and he and Jesus really came and he he changed the status quo of the of the modern culture at this time. Even people that were spiritual and they were uh, believers, he was he, he really could expand their their box, the way they they thinking about things. And you know there was the part of the divine in that, the divine part in in the mythologic in mythology of Jesus. But there was also like the way that you know when you speak to someone or the way you connect it to people there are distinctions that are that is communication and connection was based on and so so one example is that the the story when when jesus goes to the synagogues and he fights with the laundry ma makers he fight, he fights with the with the money people so in that example, you can see that the, he uses rage, he uses conscious anger. So he had things that he cared about and he uses his conscious anger to take a stand for what he believed in, for taking a stand for what he wants about the world, what he thinks. He always used to say what, what are the things that he stands for. And that really comes from conscious anger. So conscious anger is this uh, feeling, natural feeling that we work with and uh, in in the in the teams and the game worlds that we're that we're working with in in the game world called connect in the teams that we have uh, but but let's look what else did did jesus uh held as as he connected to people i think he saw the he saw the the light in every person he saw the the being of every person he spoke to but he also could see the shadow world of people he could really see if they did something that was not according to their really divine authentic being he could also see that and he didn't judge them for that so you can say that one of the distinction that he held is is he saw people as their being and not as their box or not as their shadow world you know the shadow part of them it's another interesting distinction and and he also you know when they related to these people he could go around their boxes he could speak to them in a way that goes around the box for example i don't know if it happened to you when you, you're watching this video you the watcher of this video that you talk to someone and all you try to do is to fight with their box you know you start to argue you're trying to be right about your beliefs your positions your uh, intellectual agendas your stories about yourself your stories about the world and you're trying to be right and you keep your box like you keep this box to box uh, argument fighting and from the stories that I hear about this this uh, that I hear about Jesus the 
what he used to do is he used to go around people boxes and open doors for them to see something else in the world to have different experiences and to go deeper to connect within themselves so there's a way to go around people boxes and to be able to connect with them in a different way and I think and I think he probably he used the his five bodies for that so I think he was aware of the five bodies that we have like I said before and I think also I'm probably guessing that Jesus was a nomad I mean he, he traveled to all these places so I think he might have held the distinction of I don't need just to live in one place and maybe something about the place everywhere that he went he was like part of that place and he was the guardian of that place so maybe he also have this distinction about you know who owns the land it's like nobody owns the land you know you can be the guardian of the land you can be the guardian of the the culture that you carry within yourself or the culture that you want to bring into a certain area to a certain society and but you cannot really own the land and, and people that understand that they usually become nomads and they traveled a lot so i wonder if he held that distinction about being an, an ex-culture nomad what else amy <laughs> what else i don't know yeah did you film before So I think when he was he was walking and he saw a culture that was very different from the place that he wanted to what he wanted to bring into the world he might have seen that there's a lot of work and he was really passionate and he had conscious anger about what he trying to get he was still persistent he was still you know encouraging people and empowering people to to create to create here in this world what what he what he saw that needed to be created in the world and and that's that was very exciting i mean that was his archetypal journey and and probably that's what would what was feeding him was feeding his soul so i know a lot of people that uh, they live today and they they are influenced by modern culture and they they're not really connected to their journey to what it, what am i here for to do and they're not really walking on that path of what i'm here for to do and it leaves this gap where there's a lot of a lot of confusion or a lot of um there's a gap between where they are right now or where they want to be their soul where their being wants to be in their journey and so they fill this gap with like addictions or or like you know a lot of stuff to feed their shadow world and and I think the reason why why Jesus probably didn't need all these things is it was really on his journey it was really where he needed to be doing his work in the world and that's what fed him so like he didn't need like the fancy food the fancy restaurants you know he didn't need a lot of money to be rich or something like that it was really he was really consumed by his work to, to come here to the world and to change uh, the world and and when I think about what it really is to to change the world is like there's a there's a beautiful distinction coming from from this rabbi and he said that our, our mission in the world is to help God to make here on earth a place that is holy for him holy enough for for God to be here to walk on this earth and I think maybe that's the mission that uh, Jesus left us with is like this mission to create in this world somewhere that is worthy of even a God to walk in or even like even for you you know how can we make the the world the culture that we live in uh, Gaia the earth 
uh, a place that is worthy for you to to walk in into the earth and maybe you know so maybe you can create legends about yourself or you can create whatever that is that you came here for for to do and so I want to leave you with that distinction and I hope you you enjoy this video you can come to my channel and watch more videos that we can help you empower yourself and encourage you to go on your journey with determination commitment and give you more possibilities thank you for watching see you next time